Good morning, YouTube. This will be my week 95 Atkins update. I started my journey at 316 pounds, and this morning I weighed in at 250.6. Uh, the last few months I did be battling the same five or six pounds up and down, up and down. Uh, the, only, the only difference between the last couple of weeks and the last couple of months is that I've been getting my vitamins in, drinking my water, doing all the exercises I need to do. A weird week. Thursday we went to the zoo, my best friend and I, and rather than buy the crap that they had to sell at the concession stands and drinking pop all day, we actually took big backpacks full of cut up veggies and protein shakes and lots of water to make sure that we were well hydrated for our walk. Um, the local zoo in my area is about 12 kilometers if you walk the entire thing. So, of course, we walked it just to say that we did it. We did still stop and look at some of the animals and things, but we did it more for the walk than the actual zoo, per se. There's a, an upcoming walk in October I'd like to do. It's an official walk where they do the chip grinding and whatever. Um, it's not till October, so I've got tons of time to prepare for that. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that. <coughs> the other thing that's going on this week is really close friends of ours. We've been friends with them for, well, I've been friends with them for 16 years. Actually, my husband's best friend from high school and his wife are being transferred to South Carolina. And they'll be moving, I guess they leave Friday. Their house actually closes today. So we'll be going out with them at a sort of a farewell event. So his, his parents had a barbecue on the weekend for him as a, a bit of a farewell event for everybody together. And both my friend and I are doing the low carb diet and so just sort of as a treat as a, a one time thing we both had a slice of cake it was practically microscopic and believe it or not it was actually too sweet I ate a little teeny tiny no thank you helping I had but I had like 48 ounces of water after that because eating it gave me almost an instant migraine I felt sick Whereas before, I could have probably eaten the whole cake and had literally no effect because I was eating so much sugar on a regular basis. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, big non-scale victory. I went to Aero Plus South last night and bought a new tank. Well, I've got Vaughn, but you really can't see them in the video. A new tank top, and it's actually a large, and it's a bit big on me. And big surprise to me. I bought myself a pair of the Capri pants that look like track pants, but they're Capri length, and I actually fit into them. That's a huge non-scale victory, considering I was a very tight-fitting 4X, possibly even a 5X, when I started, and now I can fit into extra large at the Aero store. Um, Grell and Be Gone here on YouTube talks about Aero all the time. She loves it, and... From her, I've discovered that it's a junior store, which means it's got smaller sizing than regular sizes. So technically, I'm at goal. I could stop here if I really wanted to, because when I first started at my biggest weight, I said that I wanted to, my big goal was to fit into regular size clothing, non-plus size. And even if it was the biggest size, that's all I wanted. That's all I asked for. Well, now I'm into the biggest size of junior sizing. So that's just motivation to keep going now. Why would I want to give up at this point? I want to see how far I can come. People like Bandit Wendy and Bro.333 Kelly, Bell and Be Gone. The list just goes on and on and on. Miss Janie. So many, so many people. Gastric Rose have been my inspiration, and I want to keep going. I they've had so I'd like to have that much success as well so I guess I'll see you next week for my video then bye